honest to God, if it's not the gardener, it is the trash people. As soon as I touch my camera, our phone to film, it's like they all get on walkie talkies and say, let's start doing stuff. Cause y'all hear that? are going to get in to our monthly grove order if you are new here first off hey girl hi go ahead and hit that subscription button and become one of my youtube besties speaking on grove if you're new here this is an online cleaning supply service basically they specialize in all cleaning cleaning products that are non-chemical based which is I think something we should all try to move into, except when it comes to bathroom, all about bleach in the bathroom. But for the most part, 90% of the cleaning supplies that I use for my house, with the exception of detergent, cause I'm a gang girl, uh, and bleach that I use around my house and Lysol, most of my supplies come from this. If you're interested after this video, if you like what you see, in trying out Grove, there's always a referral link in the um, description box. I am not sponsored by Grove. I do pay for this with my own coin. The referral code is just basically, I'll get $10 off a box. You'll get $10 off your first box. Just kind of a discount thing, but definitely check that out. What else? Uh, if you want to become a VIP member at Grove, I believe it's a $20 annual, annual fee on top of what you buy in your box, which me personally, I think it pays for itself because you get free shipping. You always get a free gift with your order. You also get coupons and you get to know stuff early, like whenever they have their seasonal scents and popular items like Ms. Meyers Method. Sorry, had a brain fart. Um, you get those emails where you get first dibs on those because those always sell out quickly. So for me, the $20 pretty much pays for itself. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into this box and y'all can see what I got. So to be perfectly honest with you, I don't really remember what I got. <laughs> but first thing I pull up, oh, something new that I normally never get. If you're new here, for the most part, why I don't post these every month or I don't try to, because I usually buy the same stuff. You know, most of us buy the same cleaning supplies, but when I get a little bit of new stuff, I always put in my uh, planner to go ahead and share with y'all by scheduling to film a video and this time i got bamboo condiment cups and i'm gonna go ahead and open these up reason why i got these is me and tony are sauce people tony is my spouse we like sauce we like hot sauce we like tony is a barbecue uh freak i like different sauces so i was getting these little plastic cups from the 99 cent store they're like this big and i'm like it's 99 cents but just to not be wasteful, I decided to get some. Very cute, four in a pack. I might order some more. Um, and I love the look of the bamboo. If it's not bamboo, I believe they have ceramic ones on their website. There's also some ceramic ones that are really cute on Amazon, but definitely gonna be getting some use out of these. Another thing I think, yeah, I've never gotten these before, but I'm gonna start just because a couple months ago, I got the scrub brush and these are just the replacement heads. P.S. I love that I get to buy the replacement heads because no matter what, even if they don't look gross, stuff like this holds bacteria. So you have to switch these out. So this will probably become like a regular thing. I might try to stockpile some of these just so I always have some on deck. But oh, something else that I normally never get. This is the Tips and Toe Kit Essentials. This is from Burt's Beeswax. I am a Burt's Beeswax girl. I am a big fan. However, y'all be uh, pricing. Y'all prices be kind of like outrageous, Burt's Beeswax. If any of you representatives or people that work there, y'all got to come down on them prices. Like, chapstick be like $5. $5. 
but I saw this whole little kit and I was like I love first beast wax so I'm probably gonna like everything in here the only thing that I've tried in here to be perfectly honest with y'all is the daggone chapstick so it comes with one two three four five six items first beast wax chapstick and this is the pomegram and I love pomegram so it's going in my purse I'm not sharing sure that the next thing in here is the Burt's Bees Cream Pour de la Mains Almond and Milk Hand Cream. I like the little cute container. This is something cute just like throw in your bag. Ooh, that smells so good. Very thick because, yeah. Again, glass container. Something I'll just keep in my purse, you know, after you go to the restroom and you wash your hands, a little bit of dryness. This would work great. Hand Slave Cordless. What is this? So y'all, I had to Google it. <laughs> Cause I didn't know what the heck this was for. It's like a little tin. When you see things like this, I always think of lip balm. And when you look at it, it kind of looks like a lip balm. But basically I just read on Google, this is for cracks and crevices of your hand. This is supposed to smooth it out. Basically if you super ashy are dry, I think you would use this. Interested to try that because I've never seen or heard of anything like that. Lemon butter cuticle cream. Same little tin. Strong smell. It's not horrible, but it's not like, I wouldn't want to spray it on myself. But this is for your hand cuticles. I'm all about that. And the next little two tubes I see are some of my favorite flavors. And yes, I said flavors. This is the Honey and Grapeseed Hand Cream. Again, love little stuff like this to throw in your purse. Take, oh, we can smell it. Y'all taking off the foil. This smells so good. I wish this was like a bath or, you know, bath soap or cream I could use. I'm not even going to open this. I already have a little tube like this in my purse, but this, I love this. It smells super good. And the next one, y'all. Coconut. This is the coconut foot cream. Now, super interested in this because I'm going to be honest with y'all. We besties here. I'm not going to hide nothing for you. My feet are looking like bedrock feet, okay? It's been a minute since I've been to the nail salon i made a resolution to actually not really go up in there because in california where i'm from i like acrylic nails and they're really expensive now like you could easily pay 60 75 dollars for a full set when i was in high school a full set was like 20 dollars. you tipped a girl another five it was like 25 dollars, 30 the most to get a full set and a pedicure was like 10 or 15. Now it's like 75 to get a full set and another 45 or 50 to get your feet done. So I'm trying to work it out myself. I have not been doing a good job, but I think that cream will help me. And if, and if I do like it, I'll definitely buy the bigger version. What is that? Lint. You can see everything, child, in 4K. Like a ghost up in here. All right, so we're going to get into the cleaning supplies first. Let's talk about this method coconut rice milk shea butter bath gel let's stop let's talk about it this stuff right here i cannot get this grove sticker off i understand y'all didn't want it to spill but dang y'all messed up my bottle but y'all this stuff i'm not gonna try to get off no more this stuff smells so good even if it didn't lather or wash me, I would still use it because it smells that good. Think about what I just said. Rice water, coconut, shea butter. It smells so good. It lathers so well. Like it's like a for real Dawn commercial up in my shower every time I use this. And like we were talking about before, when it's winter or fall, I tend to go with a more creamier, body gel versus like the see-through stuff that's a little bit more for summer or spring especially where I where I am in California where it's super hot in the summer and spring but this stuff like I tried to order three at once and they were out of it on the site I don't know if I got the last one but this one that was in my cart they shipped but I tried to go back and get two more and they wouldn't let me 
I'm going to stock up on this. I have not seen this in the store. I looked at Kroger, I looked at CVS and I couldn't find it anywhere. But if you see this in the supermarket, get this. That smell, y'all. Next thing I got is fabric softener. This is the Method fabric softener. I got this big tube, but in the mango, I don't know, it was like the mango flavor. It don't smell like mango because I don't like mango, but it was a nice little tropical smell. I got that like, I want to say three months ago and this big tube does last. It. I did notice a difference. I usually only do this on certain clothes, definitely on our linens and definitely on our um, towels. And I did notice a huge difference. I wanted to try a different scent. I don't know, with the, the tropical smell that I had, it just reminded me of summer. So I just wanted to, you know, think outside the box. And I got this Beach Sage, which I am definitely interested. I don't know why. I'm so sorry, y'all. I got y'all been seeing the top of my big old five head in my head. But my hair is done, so it's a good view. But um, I know it's scary to get things off the internet sometimes because you can't smell them you can't touch them you don't know how they look i do want you to know that grove's return policy is super quick i only had to return one thing one time and i got it the next day yeah don't worry about it i understand if you do but sometimes it's nice to try different things i just really want to smell this Ooh. very clean 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 I do get a bit of the sage and I do get a bit of the beach. Depending on where you live, your beach may not smell good, but the good beaches out here like Malibu and Hermosa Beach, they smell good. Santa Monica, if it's, it was a Santa Monica scent, I wouldn't get it. This is really good. I like Method, some of their products. Their multi-surface spray is good. I love this fabric softener and I love their dryer sheets. The other stuff, not really that much of a fan, but I would definitely pick that up if I was y'all. And the last three items, I got my Mrs. Meyer set. And I know you guys are like, where is the dish detergent? I don't know. This is the first time I've ordered for Grove and they've missed the item. But like I said, their customer service is pretty good. So I'll go ahead and reorder that or see if they can ship me out what they were supposed to, you know, what's happening with that. But this definitely usually will be um, the multi-surface spray. It will be the hand soap as well as the dish detergent. I usually have all three of these right above my sink because this, the multi-purpose spray, I spray down my stove as well as my countertops every night when I do my nightly routine. And of course, we're always washing our hands and that dish soap is just... I like my kitchen to smell like one product, if that makes sense. I'm not trying to have like, you know, a fruit party or, you know, have all these different kind of scents all in my Last item. Y'all know I always get a candle and it is the same scent of Miss Myers that my trio is. And that is the Honeysuckle, which is my second favorite. My first uh, favorite scent is going to be Rain, then Honeysuckle, and then I can't even think of the other one, but it's like a maroon color i'll insert a picture here or there but i only use usually get those three the other scents are not my favorite love this candle and i have said in every other video but when you get this miss myers candle i don't know this is special kind of wax or what but this one wick candle will last me like two or three weeks and i usually burn it at night as i'm cleaning my kitchen so the smell lingers and again, that's why I always get the same, anything I'm using in the kitchen. So my kitchen will smell the same. It'll have one major scent and it just lingers. And I love that. That's how I always feel like my kitchen is clean. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. That was my Grove order for this month. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. It helps me know to keep recording videos like this. It also helps with YouTube pushing out my videos. If you like videos like this, again, there's a playlist in the description box where I do all my hauls. Normally it's only two or three things that I get in the mail as far as subscription services. All those videos are in there. Go ahead and binge watch your girls. But until next time, bye.